Hey, what's up, fellas? I'm back with a fragrance review. This time, I will be reviewing uh, my latest purchase, which is a, a rather old classic from 2006. It is Nautica Voyage. So yeah, I just got this and I sprayed it on me, and uh, I'm I'm really liking it so far. Yeah. Yes, so let's take a look a little bit at the, some info about it. It came out in 2006. Yeah, my youth days. <laughs> so the nose behind it is Maurice Roussel. And the top notes are green leaves and apple. Middle notes, lotus and mimosa. And base notes, musk, cedar, oak moss and amber. However, I also heard that this has a, actually a, a cucumber note, or maybe it just looks, I don't know, or s smells like it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Here are the pros, as they say, from Fragrantica. Fresh and clean scent, perfect for summer, high quality, despite low price point, good for everyday wear. Well balanced and well made, compliment worthy, strong and long lasting, great for both men and women. Yes, I agree. I mean, this is a really easy to wear fragrance. It is fresh, it is aquatic, as the name says, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it is still rather uh, mild and uh, nice and easy to wear, as I said. I mean, of course, the price, that's the best, one of the best parts about it, because I have come across fragrances that smell like this, not better, and, and cost more. So definitely, you can find that. So this is, uh, well, anyway, I got it for around, uh, you know, 70, 70 bucks. And that, that that was a really good good price, considering this is actually 100 ml, and uh, it is a pretty good one. S simple as that, yeah. So uh, let me just spray it on the skin a little bit. Mm. It opens with this salty kind of, uh, yeah salty and aquatic opening just gets nicer as it dries down mm, wow this is really good man <laughs> this is really beautiful mm, really nice kind of citrusy and uh, it gets a little sweeter yeah but not too sweet, definitely, as it dries down. Mm. Ah, beautiful. So, uh, yeah. This is a really good everyday wear, definitely. It is good for the gym. It is good for just going out, you know, for a walk or whatever, going out to town. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, when you spray the sun, it's... I think it's got pretty good longevity, I mean, uh, and uh, it will keep you from, you know, keep you smelling nice and fresh and clean throughout the day, definitely. So, this is the description at Fragrantica Nautica Voyage is a fresh and salty sea breeze that, that carries a romantic sense of coastal herbs and woods and awakens the masses. All right. So yeah, it opens with the green notes of leaves and green apple and uh, yeah, a tender dewy mimosa in the heart. Now at the dry down, it starts to get a little greener, yeah, obviously because you know it's got cedar and oak moss and yeah. So uh, 
I see what people don't like about this is the same. It may not suit all occasions, or seasons, or gender preferences. <laughs> not sophisticated or complex enough for some scent connoisseur. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. You know, these very niche, <laughs> niche uh, sheep or whatever lovers, or Oriental especially people who love Oriental scents. This is nothing like that, obviously. This is a freshy, but still a rather sophisticated one, I would say. It's not just something that you pick up from, you know, whatever, and put on just not to smell, you know. <laughs> this is a, a little better, you know, top-notch freshy, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It says it may wear off or become less appealing after repeated. <sighs> When it comes to the, the, now that it has completely dried down, I feel it's a uh, little, uh, yeah, becomes a little more uh, woody and uh, a little less beautiful, to be honest, but still is pretty interesting, you know, yeah. So uh, you must have that in mind that uh, the opening will not last forever and it, as it dries down it will become like, you know, quite different, in, uh, which may be a, a, a letdown maybe to some people who just want the scent that doesn't change that much. However, um, you know, every, every fragrance has, you know, I mean, most fragrances have that, you know, they don't remain the same throughout the day, you know, their, their scent changes, so, gotta be a little honest here, yeah, <laughs> this dry down reminds me, I must be honest, of a fragrance that I don't like, and I have made a, a, a video about it, which is called Blue Atlas, Atlantis by Blue Atlas, the dry down, yeah, it reminds me of it. However, the the first couple of minutes were really beautiful. So uh, yeah, because of this dry down, I would probably not now rate it as high as I as I originally was intending to. However, I still think this is a, a good good buy because of its price, you know, especially yeah. I do think so, and uh, and the opening kind of reminds me of uh, of uh, light blue or intense by Dolce and Gabbana, which I re I like and enjoy really. So, yeah. Anyway, some my some uh, you know minuses. The only minus, well, it's the dry down when it's completely dry down, dries down. <laughs> it becomes yeah a little kind of you know, a little strange, let's put it that way, kind of cucumberish, and uh, yeah, so that's the thing, and uh, so be aware of that, however, in the first kind of minute or so, it's really beautiful, refreshing, aquatic, uh, also, in a way, well, not that citrusy, but anyway, yeah, it's got, uh, yeah, Lotus and Mimosa, you know, they are pretty beautiful uh, notes, so, yeah. So that would be pretty much it, I think, and, uh, yeah, I'll be wearing this now. I mean, I hear that this is a, more like a summer scent, but I think it can be worn, you know, also in warmer temperatures in the spring, and, yeah, so... Yeah, all right, that would be my review of Nautica Voyage. Because, you know, in, in America they say Nautica, but I, I would say Nautica, so <laughs> that's the, pro, that's the yeah, difference. Anyway, thank you all for watching, bye.